What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. This particular commentary, but you know, before I get to that, make sure that y'all like this video. And if you're new, click the subscribe button and the notification bell as well to get notified when I post videos or go live. So you're not missing anything. All right. I want to talk about this video I came across recently with this attention seeking dad or stepdad, excuse me. This stepdad decided to get on the phone and call the baby's father of I guess his now girlfriend wife whatnot who the other guy has children with and the guy hasn't seen the children in years okay and he took it upon himself to call this man causing even more division and strife in that situation now I want y'all to understand something. I have no problem with men deciding to merge families with women who have children. I, I have no issue with that, that's their business. I just speak on what I would do and how I would handle certain situations. But there is no way that I'm gonna condone what this guy did on this phone calling this man to tell him thank you for being a bad father i'm the man of the house now i'm taking care of your kids it's like what was the point of that and i know that that was fueled by what his current lady told him I'm pretty sure she put all types of things out here because women have a way of portraying their exes if they're the worst thing ever. Now, am I for men being deadbeats? No, I am not for men not taking care of their responsibilities as a man. As a man, you should take care of your responsibilities. If you have children with a woman, you need to take care of them. If you're not going to be around like that, pay child support. Make sure you go to court. Make sure that you have visitations. You have to do what you have to do um, but if you choose to walk away from those children then that's a choice you make and that's a choice that you're gonna have to live with now I don't know if this is what this guy did maybe that's what he did I don't know but what I condone this guy who looks like a young guy right it would not surprise me if he's dating an older woman because the dude the new dude showed no maturity whatsoever and he's recording himself to put this online. And this is why a lot of us as melanated men don't like each other. We can't get along with each other. We're always looking for issues with other men. This guy had no idea who you were. None. And you're already causing a situation that's going to become even more toxic. Because now you've put this online. So that's going to cause him to react maybe even go to court maybe even confront his baby's mother all because of what you chose to do and she's complicit in it because she gave you the number to call i understand that you feel like you're the man of the house now you're in charge well fine be the man of the house be in charge but do you really need to do this like seriously do you really need to do this because who's going to look bad in this situation? You're the one that's going to look. Because you're calling this guy up out the blue. Listen, if he don't want to be in them children's life, he don't want to be with that woman, then you move on. But you don't know the situation. You don't know what that woman has done to that man. You don't know what that relationship was like. You don't know why he's keeping his distance. You're going off of what she's saying. And you getting gassed up to call this man to argue with him. If it was me, I would have hung up in your face after about uh, me, under, me, when I realized that you're the new dude looking to argue, I'm not gonna argue with you. Because if you look at the dynamic of the conversation, the dude on the phone sounded 
like he was a little bit older and a little bit more mature than this guy because he feels like he has something to prove you can tell this guy probably didn't grow up with a father in the, in the home why in the world would you call your current woman's ex who she hasn't seen in years you don't know why they ha he hasn't seen his kids in years you're going off again what she's saying because she may have a grudge against him you don't know that but you rather hop on the phone and defend something when you don't even know the, the full extent of the story you're going off of one side if you wanted more clarity you should have called him and asked for clarity but you 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 called him for clout you were looking for attention and that's sad because you could focus on building that family now if that guy came back around after years of not being around his family and all of a sudden want to be in their lives and you felt some type of way and you wanted to address it that's different but when you're just calling this dude up to thank him for being a deadbeat it's almost as if you're putting that woman on a pedestal you're putting her on a pedestal you're 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 trying to right wrongs that she made she made those wrongs she chose the wrong guy and and what is calling this guy and arguing with him what is that gonna do for you sir how is that gonna benefit you in what way is that gonna help your life i'm not about to argue with nobody okay because at the end of the day she chose this guy at the end of the day she wanted to be with this guy at the end of the day she had multiple children with this guy so obviously she must have liked him enough to do that so why would i again and and they may not have seen each other in years but bro i bet they have a stronger connection than what you have with her all you proved is that you can be manipulated by this woman doing something that you don't even need to do what was the point of doing this why would you call to argue and bicker with somebody that you don't even know to put it on social media to say hey, hey look at what i'm doing to get some clicks to get some lols to get some props from other women so that's probably why he did it so he can get the attention of all the other single mothers you know on social media that he may follow or follow him to say hey look look who i look how i defend minds right this wasn't the right route bro this wasn't the right route you move on with your life men should have some type of code but we don't have none um, all we do is try to destroy each other all we do is try to confront each other you don't know how crazy this dude could be completely crazy you don't know that bro you don't know how far he's willing to go to get at you but maybe you don't care but your the the the, it, the family you've put together should care i want you to understand something man when you are in a new situation you need to make sure you put your best foot forward show what a man should can how a man should conduct himself and what he should be uh recording yourself arguing with another man and putting it online that's not what men do that's not what men do you don't have no personal issue with this guy you're going off of what the wife the ex what the ex is saying right you're going off what she's telling you and you're buying into it when you need to calm down and really analyze the situation before you end up looking bad because let me tell you something right now she stayed she still may be in love with this guy she still may be in love with this guy and you don't even know it she's using you in her games she's probably done this with other guys where she's used them to go at her ex women play games like that man the fact that after all these years and after moving on she still takes the time to worry about what they not again I don't know what the child support situation is but sometimes you have to learn from your mistakes she had children with this man 
she has to be partially responsible for this or at least half responsible for this because she chose him she chose him there's no going back now she she made her situation now she has to deal with it she has to deal with it i, I just wish that these guys would stop trying to you know play defender of my woman and trying to argue and bicker with men you don't even know you don't know this person so why would you i could again i could see if it was a situation where you had an issue he had an issue with you first and you called him for clarification but once again why do people need to put their business on social media that really makes no sense to me at all